Welcome to the Durham Police Department's virtual open house presentation for persons interested in applying for the Police Academy and eventually becoming a member of the internationally accredited Durham Police Department. The Durham Police Department is internationally accredited by the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, or CALEA. Additionally, the City of Durham is an equal opportunity employer. All applicants will be fairly considered for employment as prescribed by federal statutes and city organizational values that promote diversity and inclusion. During this presentation, important information will be shared including requirements, disqualifiers, and expectations in the process to become a Durham police officer. You will also find recruiting unit contact information and helpful resources. The Durham Police Department is currently seeking highly motivated, service-oriented persons who are ready to rise to the challenge and make a difference for the citizens and visitors of the City of Durham. Our hiring process may take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months, depending upon when you apply, the details of your background, and how much information we need to collect from you. As such, we will provide you with specific instructions on application procedures. Your adherence to our procedures speaks volumes to recruiting staff about your ability to adapt to the expectations of a Durham Police employee. The Durham Police Department currently offers a generous benefits package to include 10 to 11 paid holidays per year, one floating holiday per year, which can be used at any time pending supervisory approval, 96 hours of paid vacation per year, 96 hours of paid sick leave per year, a sick leave incentive, two weeks of paid military leave per year, Department of Labor and VA apprenticeship programs, furnished uniforms and equipment, medical, dental, and life insurance, state and city retirement plans, a 401k retirement plan, five days of paid funeral leave per year, an employee assistance program, 48 hours of paid volunteer work leave per calendar year, four hours of paid parental leave per year, a take-home car program for officers who live within the city limits of Durham, a $150 annual shoe allowance for patrol officers, and a $600 annual clothing allowance for investigators. Entry-level salary for police recruits is currently $37,029. Police recruits should expect this salary during the 26-week police academy, the 17-week PTO phase, during which you would be trained one-on-one -on -one by a police training officer, and during your 12-week independent phase, during which you would ride in your own police vehicle and be supervised at a distance by the training division. Upon successful completion of all phases of training, a recruit is promoted to the rank of Police Officer 2 and base pay increases to $38,790. Additionally, if you have an associate's degree, you are eligible for a 2.5% education incentive, which would raise your pay to $39,760. If you have a bachelor's degree, you are eligible for a 5% education incentive, which would raise your pay to $40,730. Individuals who are currently sworn as law enforcement officers who want to apply for a lateral transfer to the Durham Police Department should expect the following you must meet the same standards as entry-level applicants. Your years of service, current certification status, and any breaks in service will be considered on an individual basis. Your starting salary range would be between $38,790 and $47,149, depending on your years of full-time sworn service. Education incentives may also apply to qualified applicants. Additional inquiries should be addressed to recruiting personnel. Provided on screen is the Durham Police Department's pay plan schedule for entry-level employees. Durham Police officers should expect a pay increase of 5% annually, subject to City of Durham budgetary restraints. This pay plan includes expected pay for officers who hold an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree. Education incentives cannot be combined. Current top pay for officers is $60,176 and would be reached in nine years. If officers are promoted to the ranks of investigator, senior patrol officer, corporal, etc., their pay plan schedule would be different and would include higher top pay. Please contact recruiting personnel for more information. The Durham Police Department affords its officers numerous opportunities for promotions and transfers to specialized units. After successful completion of all phases of training, officers are eligible for transfers after two years to specialized assignments, including canine, criminal investigations, recruiting, police athletic league, community engagement, traffic enforcement, and several others. Additionally, officers who complete all phases of training are eligible for promotion to the rank of Senior Patrol Officer or Police Corporal after three years. 
The following are requirements for entry-level police officers. You must have either a high school diploma or a GED. Applicants who were homeschooled must provide proof that their home school was registered with their state's Department of Non-Public Education or equivalent body. If you graduated from a high school in a foreign country, you must provide documentation indicating that the school was properly certified. Official translation documents may be required as well. You must be at least 20 years old by the time you would take the state comprehensive exam at the conclusion of the academy. You may apply for the Durham Police Department while you are 19 years old. Prior to hiring a 19-year-old applicant, the recruiting unit would need to confirm the expected state comprehensive exam date with the police academy sergeant. You must meet all entry-level physical requirements. This includes two physical tests, which are conducted monthly at Durham Police Headquarters. More to come on this later in the presentation. You must not have either committed or been convicted of any felony offense, ever. This is a state standard and is not negotiable. The state of North Carolina has identified several serious misdemeanor offenses, labeled as Class B misdemeanors. If you have committed or been convicted of one of these offenses in the past five years, you are not eligible to apply. If you have either committed or been convicted of a misdemeanor offense in the past five years, contact a member of our recruiting staff to see if the offense was a Class B misdemeanor. Some specific offenses in this category include DUI and DWI offenses. If you have been convicted of domestic violence-related offenses, you are ineligible to apply. You must have a valid driver's license, and your driving privilege must not have been suspended in the past three years. You must be a U.S. citizen or a naturalized U.S. citizen. If you are a naturalized U.S. citizen, you must provide appropriate documentation. There are several things which could disqualify an applicant from consideration to be hired as a Durham police officer or recruit. Your criminal history, driving history, illicit drug use, and other items which are discovered during the course of your background investigation may disqualify you from our process. In terms of your criminal history, as described previously, if you have ever committed or been convicted of a felony offense, you are not eligible to be considered for employment. Additionally, if you have committed or been convicted of certain other misdemeanor offenses in the last five years, you are likewise ineligible. Expunged offenses will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. The following criteria will be utilized to determine if your driving history over the past three years is disqualifying. If your license has been suspended or revoked, or you were at fault in more than one traffic crash where you were cited and convicted of an offense, or you were found guilty of more than two moving violations, or you were assessed more than eight cumulative points on your driving record, then you are ineligible for hire until that three-year period has expired. The following criteria will be utilized to determine if your driving history over the past five years is disqualifying. If you were found guilty of more than three moving violations, or you committed or were convicted of a DUI or DWI offense, or you were at fault in more than two traffic crashes where you were cited and convicted of an offense, then you were ineligible for hire until that five-year period has expired. If you were found guilty of more than four moving violations in the past seven years, you were ineligible for hire until that seven-year period has expired. Your total number of traffic crashes to include at-fault crashes where you were cited and convicted will be evaluated on an individual basis. Drug disqualifiers include use of any drugs which are determined to be illegal in the state of North Carolina over the past 12 months. With specific regards to marijuana, the Durham Police Department utilizes an age-related scale to determine how recently an applicant could have used those substances and remain eligible for hire. Applicants 24 years of age or younger should not have used these drugs in the past 12 months. Applicants 25 years of age should not have used these drugs in the past two years. Applicants 26 years of age should not have used these drugs in the past three years. Applicants 27 years of age should not have used these drugs in the past four years. Applicants 28 years of age or older should not have used these drugs in the past five years. Additionally, applicants should not have used any hard drugs at any time. Hard drugs include crack, cocaine, LSD, PCP, mushrooms, and several others. If you have any questions about this policy, please contact a member of the recruiting unit. Other disqualifiers include untruthful statements or other items which bring your integrity into question, which include statements in writing, such as work history, and questions you are asked as part of the background investigation process, or 
three or more negative references, or a dishonorable discharge from the military, or general discharge when other disqualifiers apply. Each applicant for police positions with the Durham Police Department should begin by filling out an online application through NeoGov. You can access NeoGov by going to the Durham Police Department's website, www.durhampolice.com, and click Join the DPD. Next, you would click Apply Now. Then you would click Job Openings. In the search bar, type Police Recruit. Finally, you should complete the city application by following the on-screen prompts. When your application is successfully submitted, you should receive an email from the city with further instructions on the hiring process and contact information for recruiting personnel. A recruiting officer will contact you to send you an applicant packet and give you instructions on how to properly complete it. If you have any questions along the way, do not hesitate to reach out for assistance. Our selection process consists of the following. Viewing our virtual open house presentation. Successfully completing our physical and written tests. Completing a brains assessment. A background application interview. An oral board interview. And the final selection process by the chain of command. All applicants to the Durham Police Department must successfully pass all portions of applicant testing and meet all state and Durham PD standards to move forward in the hiring process. Local applicants may register to take part in applicant physical and written tests when they have the following. Proof of a completed application through NeoGov. A signed physician's waiver to complete physical testing. A signed release of liability and assumption of risk and a copy of your driver's license. Local applicants are required to submit a completed applicant packet prior to moving into the background investigations phase of the hiring process. Applicants who do not live in the area, generally out-of-state applicants, must submit a completed applicant packet prior to registering for applicant testing. Applicants from outside of the area who submit a completed applicant packet and successfully pass applicant testing are eligible to have their background interview and oral board interview the day after applicant testing. This saves those applicants the time and cost of repeated travel to the area. All applicants who pass applicant testing and make it through the background interviews, oral board interviews, and the final selection process are extended a conditional offer of employment. Applicants who receive a conditional offer of employment would need to successfully complete the following. A drug screening, a medical examination, a polygraph examination, and a psychological examination. A study guide for the applicant written test can be found online. To access the guide, do a Google search for the National Police Officer Selection Test by Standard & Associates. This guide will prepare you for testing success. Additionally, please take time to review the video demonstration of our applicant testing version of the North Carolina Police Officer's Physical Abilities Test, or POPAT, on the Durham Police Department's YouTube page. This video is a real-time demonstration of the actual course you will need to complete to move forward through our hiring process. Typically, it is recommended that a potential applicant would participate in the department's ride-along program by riding with a uniformed patrol officer for a four-hour shift during the daytime and nighttime. This provides the potential applicant with a realistic perspective of what Durham police officers encounter in their daily work. All applicants should plan to register for upcoming applicant testing. As mentioned previously in this presentation, there are certain items you need to submit to the recruiting unit prior to being registered to test. Contact a recruiter today to receive your applicant packet or for assistance with applying online. Lastly, please note the phone numbers and extensions of some of our current recruiting personnel provided on screen. These are the individuals you will need to contact for further information regarding the hiring process. Thank you for your interest in the Durham Police Department. This concludes the Durham Police Department's virtual open house presentation.